Welcome to the Inject Creativity Live Chat Show. This 30-minute webinar is live on YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook. And your comments and questions via these platforms are most welcome. Please keep them kind and respectful. Following this event, you are welcome to join us via the Blue Jeans online conferencing app for a one-hour NASA accredited workshop with our guest presenter. Now, here's your host, Dr. Tim Kitchen. Well, thank you so much, Rob, and welcome to this very special Adobe Max version of the Inject Creativity Live chat show, being recorded via Twitter, via YouTube, LinkedIn, and the APAC Adobe in Education Facebook group. We are recording this on Wednesday, the 21st of October, 2020. And I'm your host, Tim Kitchen, Adobe's Senior Education Specialist for the Asia Pacific region. Before I introduce Clara Galan, my wonderful co-host, I'd like to do an acknowledgement of country. We respect and honour Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander elders, past, present and future, as well as Indigenous people from the lands we reach out to during this event. We acknowledge their stories, traditions and living cultures. We acknowledge them as the first peoples in our lands, the first scientists and the first creatives, and we commit to building a brighter future together. My usual co-host Erin is uh, is having a night off to celebrate her birthday today. So a very special happy birthday to Erin today. And uh, to help uh, celebrate Adobe Max, which is this week, co-hosting with me today is my wonderful colleague, Clara Galan from the Global Adobe Education team, who is currently living in Barcelona, Spain. Hola, yes. Clara. Hola, Tim. How's it going? Happy to be here. Good. Oh, look, I'm going really well because I got up at my normal 7.30 this morning, and so I'm fresh for this <laughs> stage of the evening, whereas I hear you've been up since 2 o'clock this morning. What time is it now for you? Uh, this time it's 9 a.m., so not too bad. Went to sleep at 2, um, but it's been so much great content during Adobe Max. It's our first year doing this virtually, so um, I'm so impressed with all of the speakers and um, presentations. So looking forward to the rest of the week. Well, it has been impressive. I tuned in at 11 o'clock this morning, well, just before that, actually, for the uh, Pixar in a show, Pixar in a Box uh, special, which was terrific. There's, there's a number of things happening in Max that are specifically related to uh, to education. And Clara, mm -hmm. I'll get you to talk about some of those in a sec, but let's have a look at some of the stats. 56 hours of content over this week and four consecutive global keynote presentations. And I saw the 11 a.m. one for today uh, for our region. They had over 500,000 pre-registrations and they're expecting 1 million viewers from 200 countries. My goodness, it's like massive. It's amazing. And that so many educators from all around the world can tune in. Um, it's, it's really impressive. Tell us, Clara, what are some of the education focused events that are happening this that have happened and will be yes. continuing to happen? Yes, so yesterday I did a session with Mark Martin, who joined us from the United Kingdom, talking about community programs and how he is inspired by community to help his students um, partake in social justice projects, connect to the community, especially in light of COVID-19 and how he's doing that virtually. Um, we've also had a series of live stream sessions. Tim, I know you're also doing one um, with Juliet and Max on Friday. Um, but we've had educators from all around the world. So uh, yesterday we had Dominic Trainer, who's our evangelist from the United Kingdom, lead a session with educators and talk about how um, creativity looks like across the curriculum, particularly in language, English language arts. And then we also have uh, the National Park Service from the United States on later today. Um, that's going to be sharing their film 20 and odd. Um, if you haven't seen it, strongly encourage. Um, it talks about the African-American experience and all of the national park sites that really um, share in that history. So we're looking forward to those. And as I shared also, my favorite part of Adobe Max are sneaks and that's taking place tomorrow, uh, or no, later this, this evening, my time as well. Um, so Chelsea Handler will be uh, co-hosting that. 
and that'll be tomorrow for us sneaks as well. So well worth looking forward to. I'm just going to share my screen for a second here, Clara, because on my screen now is the Adobe for Education YouTube channel. And you can see on that channel there, and Jerry, I don't know if we've got a, a banner for the Adobe for Education YouTube channel, but if we do, let's see if we can bring that up just because we can see a whole bunch of of what Clara has been talking about. And that's if you want to join these sessions live, you can just click directly into them. You can even set a reminder. And you can see the one that uh, Juliet and Max, the one for our region, uh, that's advertised there as well, which will be happening on Friday at 1.30 Australian Eastern Daylight Savings Time. So well worth tuning into some of the many great things that are happening with Adobe Max this, this week, which is rather exciting. Now, let me just stop sharing that screen. And Clara, can you tell us what we can look forward to for this week's episode of Inject Creativity? Yes, yeah, so um, I'm looking forward to introducing everyone um, to our special guest for this episode, Craig Dalmeyer Power from TAFE New South Wales. And we'll be hearing from Craig very soon, helping us moderate and doing a lot of the techie things behind the scenes is my wonderful colleague, the legendary Adobe Customer Success Manager, Jerry Wong. Hi, Jerry. Good evening, everyone. How are you going? I'll be moderating the chat tonight, so please post your comments and questions and let's make this chat really interactive. Thanks, Jerry. Note that we are getting the chat feed from those of you on Facebook, LinkedIn, and YouTube, but not always from Twitter. If you are joining us from Twitter and you would like your comments or questions posted and published by us during the chat show, you may like to jump out of Twitter and into Tim's YouTube channel via bit.ly slash YouTube dash Tim Kitchen. We'll be continuing the chat during the deeper dive event at the top of the hour, where we, we will be crossing to bluejeans.com slash kitchen dot adobe. That's bluejeans.com slash kitchen dot adobe. And the more you contribute, the more interactive these sessions become. And we really do value your comments and thoughts. So get involved. And I'm just noticing here, we've got some comments that have come in already from people from all over the world. And uh, let's just uh, jump into a couple of them. We've got John from Toowoomba in Queensland saying, hi, Tim and all. Hey, hi, hey Clara. <laughs> Great to see you guys again. So it's lovely to connect with you, John. And uh, John says another message here. Hi, Adrian. Erin is not with us today celebrating her birthday. A little mm -hmm. reminder and a little another happy birthday message to Erin. She'll be back with us again in a couple of weeks. Timothy Cosgrove is with us all the way from Canada. He gets up very early in the morning to join us for these sessions. So welcome, Timothy Cosgrove, who is now officially an Adobe Education Leader. So congratulations. In fact, that deserves a round of applause, I think. There it is. Get a round of applause in the background. Well done, Timothy, for uh, becoming an Adobe Education Leader. And... Uh, Jerry, if you see any other comments there that are worth presenting, just fire them up and we'll hopefully get them up and ready to go. Clara, are you ready to have a listen to the Spark Challenge intro? Here yeah, let's hear it. Well, folks, I hope you're ready for this week's Spark Challenge. <laughs> So your Spark Challenge for this episode is to create a Spark page based on at least two things you learned during this episode that you didn't know before that you could apply in your classroom. At least one of those two things need to be from the Deeper Dive show and most of the main tools from Spark page need to be featured, such as images, text, buttons, video links, which are optional, photo grid, glide show, and split layout. We'll be keeping an eye out for the link to your post during the Deeper Dive event, so good luck. And for those of you who are new to a Spark page or Adobe Spark in general, I'm just going to share my screen again in a sec. I'm just gonna bring up a browser because it's often the simplest way to access Spark is through a browser. So as I share my screen, you'll see I've got a Chrome browser that I'm working with. And I do tend to find that Chrome, well, it's not sharing, is it? Let's just try that again. 
here we go. Uh, I do tend to find that Chrome seems to work a little bit better than other browsers with when it comes to Spark. It just every every feature is there. Hey, Clara, just a question without notice. There's a new feature that's appeared now in the login section. I don't know much about it. Do you know much about it where it says enter class code? Yes. So this is an exciting new um, feature that we have from Adobe Spark. Right now, it's available um, in the United States, but we're going to continue expanding. But essentially, um, usually to set up a Spark premium account for a school district or a, a whole institution, the administrator needs to set it up. But what we want to do is empower teachers to actually set up their own Spark Premium accounts for students. So that will be coming soon internationally. Um, but now educators will be able to put in a class code and students can join directly. But it's in beta right now um, and we'll definitely keep you updated once it's available um, internationally. We like to test things out with the Americans before we <laughs> exactly. get the rest of the world. So we're looking forward to that. In the meantime, you can log in with your school account if you know that your school has an enterprise agreement or a VIP agreement, or you know that your school regularly uses Adobe tools and students just log in with their normal federated ID, that's the process. If you're not sure, if you're pretty sure your school doesn't, you've got a whole lot of other ways here of logging in. The only problem with logging with Google, Facebook, Apple, or the Adobe ID is that you do need to be 13 or higher. So if you're working in primary kids, it's really important that that school is set up with the Adobe Admin Console and, and working that way rather than them uh, lying about their age or, or sneaking through in a different system. So I'm gonna log in with my what would be a school account, but I'm using my Adobe account. And as it comes in, I do have a second layer of authentication that I need to go through. I've just put in my username and my password as if I was in a school. Here comes my second layer of authentication. Any second now is gonna jump onto my phone. Any second now, oh dear. <laughs> so, always during the live demo, right? <laughs> yeah, always. Oh, here we go. It just took us a little bit of time. A lot of people are obviously logging into Spark at the moment. So that's all coming in now. And any second we'll be able to see the Spark environment. It's often quicker to actually use an iPad or an iPhone when you're accessing Spark. You can download the Spark app, Spark Post, Spark Page, and Spark Video through your iOS devices. And of course, Spark Post is also an Android device as well, Android app. So I'm in the browser version. If I go to the plus symbol in the top left-hand corner, it allows me then to access all the different things that I can do. Flyers, Instagram stories, Instagram posts, Facebook posts, and collages, they're all Spark Post. Web page, that's Spark page, and video, that's Spark video. If I go to web page now, because that's the challenge for tonight, is to open up a Spark page and add a title. I'm going to say creativity, or you can say whatever you want to and get creativity. Remember what the category was, the um, criteria to do the challenge was to two things that you thought was going to be valuable from tonight that you can apply in your classrooms and we want you to present that in a creative way. So I've got my title. If I click the little plus symbol below the title, it encourages me to add a photo. I could take a screen grab of anything that's on the show and then upload that into my Spark page, which what a lot of people do when they do their Spark challenges. I'm gonna to go to find free photos to show you how that works and type in the word creativity again because I've got my favorite photo. It's not sitting there at the moment because it's in Pixabay as opposed to Unsplash. So I'm going to go to Pixabay and my favorite creativity photo, there it is. Look at these two young people, obviously. I love it. <laughs> they are obviously working with Adobe Spark as, as we speak. And that photo is now loading up as opening up my title. They're either working with Spark or they're working with Fortnite. I'm not quite sure which one. <laughs> but um, I'm hoping it's Spark. As we scroll down, you can see all the other tools there that, that allow you to add more content. You can add more photos, text, buttons, hyperlinks, links out to other websites. You can embed any video from YouTube or from Vimeo or from Spark Video. If you create the video in Spark Video and save it to one of our servers, as long as you've got the link, you can embed that video into your Spark page. A grid of photos, a glide show, a split layout, all of these tools Let's see what you can create by the end of this session, the end of the Deeper Dive event. Once you've actually done your building, go up to the top where it says share, 
and then go publish and share link. And once you've done that, uh, it'll ask you to have a title, a uh, category, I'd say education probably. You can turn on or off your author attribution. I'll keep mine on and then click create link. And while you're waiting for that to come up, uh, you can keep listening to the show, of course, and any second that link will appear on your screen. And then once you've got that link, you can just copy and paste it into the chat. There's my link. I'm going to copy that and I could paste it into the chat and that's how we'll see what you have created. So that's your Spark Challenge for tonight and I'm really looking forward to seeing what you can achieve. It's going to stop sharing there, Clara. And Clara, can you please introduce our special guest for tonight? Yes, definitely, Tim. So it is my great pleasure to introduce Adobe Education Leader, Craig Delmeyer Power, who is a head teacher at Nepean Arts and Design Center for TAFE New South Wales, Western Sydney region. Welcome, Craig. Hi, Craig. Hi, Clara. Hi, Tim. Mm -hmm. Craig, uh, you're looking a little bit weary. You're looking <laughs> a little bit tired side. What's, what's going on? Oh, well, getting up at like 4 a.m. this morning. Um, yeah, I missed the 3 a.m. start, but yeah, 4 a.m. got up. Yep. And why Pulled would you get up so early? Oh, because I like to see the, you know, sort of uh, Adobe Max, you know, live. Um, I know you can watch, you know, back, you know, sort of the sort of replays, but there's nothing like, you know, getting it firsthand. And yep, not the same. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Well, before before you report back on what you saw and what some of the highlights were, can you tell us what you'll be presenting for us during the Deeper Dive event tonight? Yeah, so uh, I'll be showcasing the Adobe Creative Educators that have featured streamers on Bahats Live or Adobe Live. Uh, so be really looking forward to, this, you know, sort of showcase, you know, what they've been doing, what we've been doing together. And how many how many Behance live sessions have you already done? Um, well, at the Adobe Education Summit um, a couple of weeks ago, um, I did four in a row <laughs> um, over two days, and um, I've done my first one last week. And so each Saturday, I'll be actually running um, those sessions, nice and early, eight a.m. Well, we're we're looking forward to hearing what you have to present, and then you know showing us what it's all about. That's terrific. Cool. Yeah, Craig, I know that's been a huge focus um, for Adobe Max this year, live streaming. And um, so a lot of great ways to keep, you know, connected to educators and um, different industry professionals. But what has been the highlight of Adobe Max for you so far? I know there's a lot of content. Oh, you woke up early. Geez. and <laughs> I don't know. There's, there's really hard to sort of, you know, across all the different ones. I mean, there was the, you know, even in the keynote, there was some you know, great takeaways there that, um, you know, about, you know, leveling up your skill and, um, you know, collaboration and just unleashing, you know, different forms of creation and all of this during, you know, COVID as well. It's sort of, um, I thought, what was the key one there they said? It was resilience of creativity, I thought, was a real takeaway. Um, mm -hmm. You know, that we've now, you know, had the amount of increase of how many people have actually been adding things to be hearts uh, because they're sitting at home and, and having that, you know, massive influx in there so making helping us all make a sense of the world we're in right now and being creative about it um but really you know i um, enjoyed seeing that you know the the 33 year you know birthday present for adobe illustrator um you know, going over to ipad that was pretty awesome um and just some of the additional tweaks that have been added to some of the apps so you know photoshop with the sky replacement you know that's sort of a great sort of addition there as well so, yeah, I'm looking forward, just like yourself as well, to um, the sneaks. That's one of my favourites as well. So this is my my first, um, you know, Max, and it's virtual as well. So, um, yeah, so I, I always hear about what it's like live, but I think this is just awesome as well. Yeah, well, normally there's like between fifteen and 20,000 people at the Los Angeles Entertainment Centre, and it's incredible buzz. But now going live, we can open up to so many more people and it's just been incredible. I was so impressed with the way things just flowed and the, they, they've obviously hired out a small theatre and it was quite funny. Just bring up that um, photo again, thanks, Jerry. See Conan, the uh, comedian from, from America, Conan O'Brien. He was, 
he was very funny the way he was interacting with Scott Belsky and with Shantanu, the CEO, the senior executives at Adobe. And he made he, he made no qualms with the fact that he knows very little about Adobe. And yet uh, he played on that. It was, it was it was very funny and well worth watching. If you get a chance, if you haven't seen any of the keynotes, have a look back at uh, at any of the recordings when you get an opportunity. Lots of fun. Yeah. Timothy saying one of my Adobe Max highlights was seeing Terry White demonstrating the new Photoshop feature sky replacement. Yeah. It was pretty impressive, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. And oh, Steele, nice to meet you. Same here. There's so much AI packed in there now with that and other features. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Of course, we don't call it AI at Adobe. We call it Adobe Sensei. In fact, I really should have that sound yeah, effect ready. I was going to what? say, you've got to do the deeper go. thing. You're the sensei. Sensei. <laughs> yeah. I know it was great with Conan O'Brien. They showed with sensei how he could um, go shift from younger to older and uh, definitely encourage you to check that out. You, you mean something like this? Did that work? Did you hear that? It's a bit yeah, soft. It yes. low. Yeah. Yeah, a little low. I'll do it one <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and no, it was it was fantastic to see all these new new things. With uh, the deeper dive event, um, I've done a summary of all the things that I thought were just brilliant out of that, that keynote session, and we'll go through some of those. So make sure you're with us during the deeper dive event. Um, Clara, I'm just going to share my screen again, and we'll have a look at exactly the edX.adobe.com/max promo here from the education exchange and jerry's put the link up there for us so it's got the dates it's got more information about what's happening on the main stage but this is really a portal for education and really focusing on the education stream do you want to just go through some of the things as i scroll down clara absolutely so later today we have a featured session with an education featuring our um vp mala sharma who will be interviewing Saul Khan from Khan Academy. Also, um, my boss, uh, Ben Forta, will be featured on that as well and is also doing a keynote. So I encourage you to, to take a look at that. Um, as you continue to scroll down, we have um, the Adobe Creative Educator Program. So a shout out to that for educators who are new to the Adobe community or um, want to connect globally. It's really focused on educators in every subject area and grade level. And Clara, we just uh, launched level two, didn't we, a couple of weeks ago? We did, we did. So level one focuses on creativity across the curriculum, how to evaluate creativity, and um, level two focuses on instructional design. So how do you plan for creativity? Um, and so you earn a badge for level one and a badge for level two based on um, a series of assignments. And Jerry's got the link for the Adobe Creative Educators Program as a ticker tape down the bottom of the screen. If you're interested, if you haven't already joined, that's the link there, edX.adobe.com slash adobe dash creative dash educator. We'll do a promotion about it uh, in a few minutes. What else have we got here, Clara? So we have several different sessions. So these sessions, if you keep scrolling down, are all the main stage Max sessions. Um, so this is if you register for Max, we have a special education track. So the session that I mentioned a little bit earlier um, that I led with Mark Martin, you can see that right in the middle there, that's the power of professional learning communities. And we talk about the Adobe Creative Educator Program, but also other um, resources that Adobe has for uh, teachers and Mark's experience as well. Um, so if you keep scrolling down, so again, I encourage you to take a look at all those sessions. Then we're doing live stream events, much like this one that we're in right now. Um, so throughout the week in the morning before Max specific time and in the evening after Max, um, we're doing different live stream sessions with different panelists. And actually, um, a fact about Adobe Max is most of the content is actually pre-recorded, and then the the panelists are in the chat. Um, so I, my session, I was in the chat yesterday, um, participating with folks who were tuning in live. But these live sessions are the only live, true events that we have during Max, where the speakers are there, live, present, interacting with you on camera. And so our featured session, um, the National Park Service in the United States will be on later today sharing their film 20 and odd. Um, so this was all done with Adobe Premiere Pro. You can learn more about the film itself. It's really powerful and has Maya Angelou's um, poetry that's uh, woven throughout. So it's a five minute film, I encourage you to see that. And I'll have um, all of the, the uh, producers on uh, later today. 
And then if you keep scrolling down, um, we have a creativity challenge we encourage you to check out. Um, so that is, um, all, there's another um, kind of format for there, but um, all of these sessions here, so we had the Adobe Animate team on, we have XD, Acrobat, um, and Dimension that are all product team members doing live sessions, and then we're doing additional panels. So I encourage you to take a look at those. And even if you can't join live, I know these are live sessions, they're all recorded just like this uh, is as well. So we okay. encourage you to take a look at all of that. All right, Craig, before we run into a couple of announcements to finish off this chat show, any last minute comments from you before we go into the deeper dive event and hear more from you? Yeah, look, the um, that bringing um, storytelling into the classroom was awesome. I, you, know, you mentioned about the Pixar in the box. Uh, you know, just sit there listening to Elise Clayton about it. It was, you know, just so inspiring. And I think, you know, there's some things that everyone can take away from Adobe Max and use in the classroom tomorrow. It's just, you know, looking forward to the next couple of days. It's going to be exciting. Very yeah. exciting. Hope you get some sleep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Clara, we've got a few announcements to make before we finish off the chat show and move into the deeper dive event. Tell us what we have got coming up. Yes, so the uh, global Adobe and education team recently launched level two, as we were just sharing, of the Adobe Creative Educator Program. This is a program for all educators in all curriculum areas. You don't have to be an Adobe expert to be in this program, but you do have to complete level one to get your level two badge. Um, hover your camera over this QR code or type the link to find more about the program. And that's all there for you. I'll give you a second to hover over that if you need to. Otherwise, the link's been around for a little while. Hopefully, you've got access to that. Last week, we launched a new digital literacy course on the Adobe Education Exchange called Cultivating Digital Literacy. This course provides professional development for educators in all curriculum areas, making it easy for them to assign projects and assignments that include the use of Creative Cloud applications. Have a look at this clip. New technologies are emerging daily, and with each innovation comes new digital skills and literacies that are essential for students to be successful in our rapidly changing world. In Adobe's Cultivating Digital Literacy course, you'll learn how digital literacy teaches students to use digital tools to solve problems, produce innovative projects, enhance communication, and collaborate effectively. Those skills integrate into every subject and discipline and are essential for virtually every career in the 21st century. Cultivating Digital Literacy course is a free online course for instructors, faculty, and all leaders in higher education. By the end of the course, you'll understand how to support students' digital literacy so they can express their personal stories, engage with courses and subject matter to gain a deeper understanding, enhance their career prospects, and learn new ways to fully participate in civic life. Enroll in this free self-paced course on the Adobe Education Exchange today. It's very exciting. Now everyone wants to go take that course. <laughs> Good. Clara, tell us about the Facebook group. Yeah, so if you are on Facebook and you are not already a member of the Australasian Adobe Education Community Facebook group, please join this group via facebook.com slash groups slash A-U-S-A-E-L. This is a great way to keep regularly involved with Adobe and education. And, and it's just great because you get um, push notifications on your Facebook account every time we post an announcement. Thank you, Clara, and a very special thank you to Craig Delmeyer Power for joining us at this chat show. And of course, Jerry behind the scenes. We are about to move to our Blue Jeans room where it's a little bit more relaxed for some parts and we can actually get a little bit more collaboration and communication happening with everyone. So there's the link there, bluejeans.com slash kitchen.adobe, where we'll be starting the deeper dive event. And I think that we have a special video to promote this uh, coming up in about a minute. All well, the video is going to come up right now. Thank you for being part of this week's Inject Creativity Live chat show. We hope you enjoyed it and found it edutaining. It's now time to switch over to Blue Jeans via bluejeans.com slash 
kitchen.adobe for the deeper dive show which is just about to start see you there Thanks, Rob, and we'll see everyone there. So we're heading over now. So thank you very much. And Thanks, if you're watching this on YouTube through the Adobe for Education YouTube channel, keep watching these and go back and have a look at other ones if you're interested, especially if you're a first-time member of this uh, community. And uh, we look forward to seeing you in the Deeper Dive event soon. Bye-bye. See ya. Bye. See you soon. Thank you. Bye.